Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and in this video I'm going to show you the uh, the fun power app called X and Zeros, which I've built completely on Power Apps. Um, so here's the demo. Um, so on this screen, I'm going to go ahead and you know, fill in the information about the players. But say for the sake of example, um, all I select is my X's or the zeros, um, and I try to switch over to the next screen, it comes up and says, please fill out the required fields. That's because I've got asterisks over here, and I've got a condition based on this um, uh, button which basically says that if, if any of these are empty go ahead and fill out the required fields so what I'm gonna do is come back and I'm gonna say uh, Jane John and as you noticed over here um, it has the X's so if I select this X over here the other one gets automatically populated um, so if I select uh, zero this guy switches over automatically so it just makes it a little bit more dynamic so now that I have everything if I click on the button I should be able to go to the next screen all right, so I've gone to the next screen. Um, over here, um, you have to select whoever is going to be the first one to play. Uh, that's why I've got buttons over here. But uh, the other neat, neat thing is, um, in the previous screen, I had John on the X's, because John selected, um, well, Jane, I think, selected the uh, uh, zeros. So Jane automatically showed up over here in that category, and then John showed up on the X category over here. Um, as you can see, these over here, that's what keeps track of the scores as to who's winning. Um, and so let's go ahead and start. Um, so whoever's going to be the one who starts has to have that first button. So let's say that Jane's the one starting. And so when I start clicking over here, I should see the zero. All right, so I see the uh, the zero or the uh, yeah, the circle over here. And now, as you can notice, the automatic switch over to John, which means now if I click over here, it should show up with the X's. So that's what I meant by the whole dynamic thing. Um, you don't have to now go and individually select any buttons by anybody's turn. It just switches around automatically, and you can always tell who's active by the color over here. So now it's Jane's turn. Do that. John. Oh, Jane just did a, a good, almost like a check checkmate over here. So John can only block one of them. So let's say John blocks over here. Jane does that, and now it says, yay, Jane's the winner. Uh, so the logic on my app is actually keeping track to see if any of these have had a you know, a, a three uh, over there to win, and it's keeping track of who's winning. And now that Jane won, you can see that uh, sh um, there's a score we added over here. So let's refresh and continue. Um, this refresh button just refreshes the section over here, but it keeps tab of the score. And now it's John's turn to start. So let's see if John can do that same thing. All right, so now John has that checkmate. So now it's John's turn uh, to win. So let's just keep going and playing around because I, I want to kind of prove to you that this is not a you know edited video and there's no smoke and mirrors over here, but this is actually a legit app. Um, there was some thought put into the uh, conditions in the back end. So let's just go through a couple more scenarios. Um, it's Jane's turn, John, Jane, and now again, uh, we blocked it over here. Again, the checkmate, Jane won continue John's turn again um, Jane John right and John won again um, so now we are even let's keep going uh, it was Jane's turn that's why the circle showed up or the dot showed up So nobody won. That's why there's no uh, uh, pop-up that shows up over here. Um, so this is just a good demo of how it works. Um, what I want to do is now actually go and look at the app. So I've opened up the app. Um, and over here, you see I have two screens. There's the main screen, and then there's the, the game screen. Um, in the main screen, it's the warning label, which basically has the text is basically fill out the required fields. But what um, is the condition is based on a variable. Um, that's why it, the variable is all on this one required variable um, and the required variable is tied to the button and so basically what the variables is, what, what, what I've set up the on select is that if any of these uh, fields or controls is blank then go ahead and set that uh, variable as false um, or I'm as true and if they're not blind, then go and set it as false, and then you can just move over to the next screen. That's why is if required variable equals false, 
switch over to the next screen or navigate. Um, so that's just a big um, uh, uh, section over here. Um, in the game or the next screen, basically all the magic happens on each of these uh, labels. Um, and so let's just take a either one of look at them, and you can see that there's a lot going on over here. I know it looks a lot, but um, uh, in a nutshell, over here everything is based on the if commands. Um, this uh, if is basically where all the magic happens. Um, another thing which um, I had to play around a lot with is to differentiate between what's a um, single and or ampersand as against uh, a double and over here. Uh, the double and was what was required um, in this case when I was working with variables to find if their values are true. Um, that was another big thing plus I was also playing around with uh, keeping tabs of the score. Um, so that's why it was score and then you plus one. Uh, the set values was another big thing because in this example, I'm using a lot of variables. So if you go to the file, if you look at collections, I have a, I mean, variables, I have a whole bunch of global variables aligned over here uh, or assigned over here. And that's what's helping me keep track of um, everything dynamically, uh, keeping track of who was winning, the score, keeping track of how many, you know, uh, if all three of the conditions I've met, as in if there are three on the top or three on the horizontal and who's the winner. Um, so all of them is done based on these uh, variables over here. So in a nutshell, I played around a lot with um, uh, the set. I played around a lot with uh, the if functions over here. Uh, and then uh, simple things when uh, it's been done was uh, adding uh, on select the refreshes um, and also on the, on the um, finish over here. It not just does the refresh, but it takes you back to the previous screen and it also resets the score. So you basically start from scratch all over again. Um, so this over here is the app. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, definitely download it because I'll be providing the MS app um, file over there. Play around with it. Um, you know, tweak anything that you think which is uh, worth, which will take this app to the next level. And uh, you know, uh, give me some feedback on the blog um, on the Microsoft uh, Power Apps community over there. And uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks.